invitation is to recognize indeed that we're called to be disciples of Jesus. And God has created every single one of us out of love and to be loved. He's endowed us each with tremendous gifts. And those gifts may, may differ from person to person. But part of stewardship is recognizing what those individual gifts are that God has bestowed upon each one of us and then sharing those gifts, making our lives an entire gift. We are Eric and Kathy Schneeman. We have nine children, and the oldest seven either went to St. Joe's or are currently there now, and we have new twins who will be at St. Joe's in a few years. Uh, and I can think of going back to being an elector when I was in college here, uh, to being a Eucharistic minister, uh, to Kath helping out with the religious ed programs here as a teacher. Uh, and probably the thing I'm most active with uh, today anyhow is the St. Joe's Parish swim team. I like to do anything that has to do with educating the children because I believe the children are our future of our parish here at St. Joe's, but also of our Catholic faith. So I have often helped out with the RE program, the Religious Education Program. I also am the school liaison for the Community Caring for Life, educating the children about the importance of uh, human life from the beginning, conception till natural death. We think it's important to try to model to our children the the significance of giving to the church, whether it be time, talent, or treasure, and we encourage the kids around Lent and Advent to, to take up a collection for the church or a specific charity. Being involved with the parish has been a great thing uh, for us and for our family. Me and my wife teach uh, natural family planning through the Couple to Couple League here. Natural family planning we picked um, because we felt that it was important. My parents were involved in the Couple to Couple League and have been involved in, so we kind of got steered in that direction maybe. But it also seemed like a kind of a, a need that wasn't wasn't being filled. I'm also involved with the Knights of Columbus. Well, currently I'm the, I'm the treasurer for the Knights, so I try and keep track of the, the expenses, but we've got a, we've got a monthly meeting that that we have a business meeting at, and then we try to do a charitable charitable works throughout the year. I'm not, not really involved in a lot, but I am involved in something. And if, if everybody could be involved in something, that's that would help out the parish a whole lot. And the way we've kind of looked at it is to pick one thing that we can commit a small amount of time to, and that that's something then that, that we can give back. It's, it's not a whole lot, but it's, it's something. I've gone to St. Joe's since first grade, and so I've been a part of this parish for pretty much my whole life. Um, first grade through eighth grade, I went here. I got confirmed here. I really enjoyed it. I did. I thought it was a great, um, it was a great school. You know, I talked to a lot of people who grew up at other Catholic grade schools because of my high school, and they all talked about how small theirs was. And so I really liked, you know, the size here, that it was, you know, big enough to, you know, there were so many different people, but at the same time it was, you know, small enough where it wasn't overwhelming. I'm involved in the youth group, the senior youth group here. Um, I've gone on the summer retreat for two years. I have a lot of friends who are really it's just just as involved as I am, and it's really nice to come and see my friends from different high schools and just have this time together. I absolutely think that um, I've become a better person. I'm, um, you know, developed my faith a lot more. You know, um, a lot of questions I've been able to, you know, come here and get them answered through either the youth group or through just the parish in general. Well, I've like this is kind of the only parish I've ever known because my parents, you know, love it, and I. This is, you know, kind of been my home, but I have gone to, you know, other churches occasionally on Sundays, and it just, it never feels, you know, the same, and it's always this, it's so opening and welcome here, and everyone just, you know, wants to share what they have, kind of, and it's just all, it's all just so welcoming, it's so hospitable. And I've been here at St. Joe's about 35 years already. When I checked back at it, I had to look, make sure it was that long. Oh, well, of course, the CCW all the time. We had that going. And then we had a new um, 
grief group that started, uh, my husband died in uh, 2006, and uh, meeting with other people that are in the same situation, it helps a lot. There's so many things here at our church that you can get into, no matter what age you are. There's a lot of things. And everybody's so friendly. They're just always so nice. And uh, I can go down to Chicago and be with my sons for a while and go to their church and everything. But you come back home and you say, thank God <laughs> we've got such a good church here. I want to invite the parishioners of St. Joseph's to spend some time prayerfully considering the gifts that God has given to each one of you. Ask God to realize what those gifts are, and he's given all of us gifts, and he's given them abundantly. But then ask for the grace to put them into a good action. And consider some of the many ministries we have at St. Joseph's. We have many opportunities to share those gifts. Some are active, some are behind the scenes, but there's indeed a ministry that will be there to make good use of your gifts. And those gifts, again, will help us to make that name of Jesus known and loved.